So now we're going to look at how to use fprintf and tables because MATLAB hates us. So I talked about fprintf, but whenever I was doing it, you may have noticed that I was just doing it with very like fun little examples like x equals 5 and then I'd be like fprintf, I like to eat, um, you know, percent f hot pockets at a time. Do 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 do. Um, X. Beautiful. Except that looks weird. So I'm gonna point zero. So it's exactly five hot pockets at a time. This is great. Okay. Now, here's the problem. Let's say that on my hot pocket schedule is to eat um, one, then three, then four, two, then four. I don't know why. That's just what I do. It's a hot pocket thing. You wouldn't understand. Doop to doop to do to doop to do ba doop ba doop. Okay. So look at what happens here. Huh. Okay. So if you remember another video, this isn't totally surprising because whenever I said my name was Chumblespuzz Chuz. And I said, my name was Chuz. And I did it like a character. It did that. It did it one at a time. Because it's kind of like the same thing. My name was a one by five matrix of characters. And I'm printing them one at a time and I'm hitting enter. So that's what's happening here. I'm printing one number at a time and I'm hitting, hitting enter. And maybe this is what you wanna do. Um, this is actually a very effective way to be like, to do the 99 bottles of beer on the wall game. Um, you know, you could, um, actually we can do that really quickly. Um, do, 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 do. You know the whole like, uh, so we have bottles. Oh, here, I need actual code. Do, 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 code. Bottles. So I'm gonna start at 99, go down by one till I get to one. And I could be like, um, F print F, um, print, 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 print F bottles of beer on the wall, take one down, pass it around, one less. Okay, I can't quite do it perfectly, but there you go. That's mostly, you get what I'm saying. One less remaining. That's how the that's how the song goes. <laughs> One less remaining. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, you could basically do it that way. So um, this is not normally what we're wanting to do, but I mean, it, it could be a thing. So we're just gonna leave it at that. That was kind of a waste of time. Um, <laughs> so let's see what we actually want to do. Normally, what we might say want to do is not that, because that's kind of dumb. Um, so a lot of times what we want to do um, is display data. And you know how like when you go into Excel, you can have data and you can like, I want this column to have this many sig figs or this many decimal places and this many decimal places. You can do all that in MATLAB as well. Um, so what we've done in the past is, let's just say we had, um, in the past, we made a matrix and then used disp on the matrix, right? So let's just say that I was gonna do, I don't know, like a feet to inches conversion. So if I have feet going from one to 10, and then the inches, oh God, I can do this, is feet times 12, right? Because each foot is 12 inches, there we go. 
and then my table. Now there is a table function. This is not what I'm using. I am not using the table function. So I'm gonna say this again. I'm not using the table function. I am not using the table function. If you use the table function and a printf, you're using like two different worlds of MATLAB. All things are gonna happen badly. Don't use the table function. If you don't wanna call the table thingy, I want to display. So you don't use the word table. If you're tempted to use the table function, don't do that. Um, is, we does something like this, feet and then inches. But we realized that whenever we did that, first of all, that was super duper bad because um, it did all the feet in a row and then it did all the inches in a row. So we had to do it like this with the little transposy things. So we got it like that. So we did this and then we just said display thingy. I want to display. Okay, beautiful, right? Okay. So this is great. Um, now, let's say we were going to add another column that was centimeters. How do you inches to centimeters? So it's inches times 2.54, right? So we're going to do centimeters. Okay, so now see this is annoying because MATLAB is like, oh well, obviously since this has a decimal, you must want everything displayed as a decimal. And you're like, but not really. I mean, I guess, but it kind of looks yucky. This isn't exactly what I want. And I've been programming a little bit now, so I'm getting a little bit more picky and judgmental. And that's just kind of a thing. So display is not giving us what we want. And what will be more frustrating is um, I'm going to try to use fprintf and it's not going to go well. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here so we can keep coming back to it as a reference. So if I just do fprintf, um, f, and then thingy I want to display, it's going to go one through ten. 12 through 120, and then the 30 to do, 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 do the centimeters. So it's basically just going to list all the columns in a row. And you're like, oh, oopsie. Um, I guess I want to list all 12 of them. Like, I guess, right? Maybe. I mean, I'm just playing here. I don't know how many that is. It's like close to 12. Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted either. First of all, I can't count because I put too many. Second of all, it's putting them this way. So I've got my table, but I've got it the wrong direction. Okay, so maybe I want to do this. Oh god, this is worse. No, none of this is what I want. Okay, so you got to think. You can't just like throw things at it. You gotta think about what's happening. So what is it doing? It's printing things and then it's hitting enter. So take breath. When do you want it to hit enter? You want it to display something, display something, display something, hit enter, right? Display something, display something, display something, hit enter. Display, 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 enter, display, 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 enter, display, 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 enter, display, 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 enter. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. So there's three displays and an enter. Okay, three displays and an enter. Okay. These columns aren't right. So look again what I'm trying to find. This should go one through 10 in the first column, but it's doing one through 10, it's just printing one through 10 first, and then it's printing the next thing, and then it's printing the next thing. So the way that you fix this is you say, instead of going by rows, I want you to print it by columns. Or columns, I want you to print it by rows. Basically, you just wanna hit this little transpose button. If you do this and you hit the transpose, the, the magic here is in the transpose. And now it's not perfect, but at least it's functional and readable, as, or at least recognizable as our original table. 
it's uglier than what we started with, but um, you know, at least it's kind of there. Okay, so we have one through 10 and 12 through 120 and 30.4 through 304.8. Okay, <sighs> I feel better now. Okay, so at least these numbers are what I need them to be. So that's nice. Okay, so now I can actually kind of play a little bit I don't want these to have any decimal places on them because they're just integers. So remember the way to do that is I want to say 0, 0.0 um, decimal places, zero decimal places. There that goes. Um, and then the next one, I want to have zero decimal places. And then these all appear to have two decimal places. So if I do two decimal places, that'll show up pretty good there. Like, well, these don't line up really well, so I'm going to put in some spaces. Eh. Okay. You're like, well, how do I fix the fact that sometimes this takes up, like, this is bigger, right? And then when this is a 10, this makes the whole thing messy. And if I try to put a space here, you know, it's just. Uh... And I've had some students that will be like really clever. And they'll be like, well, for the first time, I'm going to, like, put in a space. Wait, without a... Oh, yeah, that doesn't work in here at all because it automatically appends the, uh, the dot in. Anyway, that would work if you were in a dot m file, but it doesn't work here at all. So, yeah, the, even the clever solution doesn't work here. So, okay, there's a way around this though. So there's the, the point whatever that tells you how many decimal places you want to display. There's another thing you can do is to put a number in front of the decimal place. And the number in front of the decimal place tells you how many like characters you want that to take up. So for example, we'd say, okay, this is at most one, two wide, right? Because it's a two characters wide. So we're going to say, since this is two characters wide, I want you to make it two characters wide. And then look at what it does. So it's going to right align the numbers with two characters wide. Yeah. And then this, like, it almost lines this one up, except this one has some three characters. So you say, okay, I want this one to be three characters wide. Okay, now this one you might say it's five characters, but you're not going to be quite right. Because this one is actually five. One, two, three, four, five, because you have to include the decimal place. So this is 304 is three, and then 0 0.80 is three. So it's actually six decimal places. Now that is a table that I can get behind. That is one fancy looking stinking table. That's ah, impressive as all get out. What a pretty table. Aww. Um, so I like that table. Comparing these two tables. Um, you can also make this number bigger than you need it to be. It doesn't hurt anything. Like if you don't want to have to worry about spacing it out like that, you can just add numbers there. So if you don't want to feel like counting on whatever and you're not sure, just make it bigger than it needs to be. So, um, so yeah, I would just maybe put that in a comment. So um, the number before the decimal point is how wide or how much horizontal space, I guess, you want the number to take up. You want the value to take up. And it's, I said left aligned, but that's because I suck at math, left to right right aligned. Um, and so the nice thing about that is it lines up the decimal places and so that makes it look really good. Now I don't think I can do this here if I put in like a title um, feet, inches, centimeters. I think if I try to do this here it's going to separate it out. So let me um, pull this. I guess if I put it over to the side it'll show up. Yeah, feet, inches, centimeters. I don't like looking it on the side though at all. So I think I'd rather just pull it off to the uh, to the side and put it on a. I'm gonna put it in a little thingy. No, not another one of those. I'm gonna put it in a. Gonna put it in a. Gonna put it in a new script. New script. Right. So. 
got it in a new script. So this is what it looks like in a new script. So it's really pretty, it's really clean, it looks great. Um, so you can use display if you want to do the title and then the F printf. You can even put in like the little or symbol to kind of give it a little fresh look, I guess, to make it feel like it's got a column. Um, so people will do that. Except you have to do a little bit of a better job of lining it up then. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, you can kind of play around with that. Kind of fun. Um, so people, you know, when they get bored, they spend way too much time doing this. And by people, I mean me. So uh, you got yourself a nice little table here. So hopefully this is enough to get you started. The biggest things to remember is, or really the biggest thing to remember is that you need to have your table look right when you display it. Um, and if it doesn't look like right when you display it, you're, it's not gonna work ever. Um, but then whenever you use the F print F, just make sure that you don't forget the transpose. If you've got the transpose in there, you should be 100% good to go. You should have no problems, but this is a good little, good little starter um, intro in it. And it's a good application for sure of the F print F and probably the most times that I'm gonna use it is gonna use it for something like this.